Ladies and gentlemen, we have a very special video here today. The day has finally arrived and EA Sports brand new golf title, PGA Tour Road to the Masters is live right now on PC, I might add. So we're going to be playing at more than that 30 FPS that console is stuck at right now. We're going to be checking it out in all of its glory. This game looks absolutely incredible. Uh, I can't wait to dive in. This first video is just going to be a quick play at Augusta National. We're going to set up for the, the beautiful Masters Week that is upon us in real life. Uh, and then following this video, there's going to be a brand new series on the channel where we start as an amateur golfer, work our way through the Corn Ferry Tour, all the way to the PGA, and hopefully one day win that Covenant Green Jacket. So super excited. There's so many things to go over in this game. There's a lot of things to discuss, which we'll do in our first little round here. Um... But one thing I had to point out is the graphics. This game, this will be my first ever round, but it's seeing the videos. EA took so many amazing paths to get here. They went out, they flew out teams out to the courses. They got beautiful laser pinpoint precision to get all the undulations, all the hills, all the blades of grass, everything down to an absolute science. And when you see this, I hope the video picks it up because it is absolutely breathtaking. So we're just gonna go out there game is launching with 30 courses 30 pga courses that is the most of any game at launch it's incredible we're obviously kicking off with augusta national kind of gives you the course overview there gives you a little breakdown of you know bobby jones and clifford roberts a little bit of history kind of cool little loading screen feature we're going to do all 18 here in this video looking forward to it uh, and then it gives you kind of a, a different array of golfers to choose from. So they do have quite a few golfers in it. I believe there's something like 15 professional golfers. As you can see, we have not edited my golfer. We'll do that in the road to the PGA Tour. But what's really cool is it gives you a an over, overall rating. And then there's kind of like a new RPG element in this game where you play the game, you earn skill points, and you kind of build your golfer out the way you want. So that's going to be really cool to dive into. There's obviously a whole bunch of golfers in here. Right off the bat, I can see there's actually a couple of live guys in the game. So Dustin Johnson, there's Bryson, Brooks. Um, my guess is that they had they were co um, contractually obligated to keep them in the game, probably before all the stuff with the live stuff went down. But I mean, it's not the end of the world. Um, you know, you get to play your favorite guy, especially here at Masters. They're all going to be there anyway. So I think we got to go with the uh, the reigning Green Jacket defender coming into the week, Scotty Scheffler, for our first ever round. Um, we're going to play with, you know, tournament settings. Why not? Uh, we're not going to fool around with any settings. One of the biggest complaints people had was, is this game going to be difficult enough? The customization you can do in the settings will let you tune it the way you want. For now, we're going to play default. Now, from but I mean, look National at this. Golf Club in Augusta, Georgia. It's beautiful. The it Dogwoods, is absolutely Magnolias breathtaking what EA Pines. has achieved with this game. This is EA Sports coverage. Unreal. Of the world of golf. Rich Lerner here in the 18th tower. Hole number one, par four, 445, T Olive. Times a winner around the world. Look at how pinpoint Frank, perfect they made this game. Special spot, amen quarter, 12 T. That is one thing that I, I will keep today, highlighting was they sent that actual that people out there to get everything that you need to know about a course down to literally the T you put in the in, in the grass. Really, I was so nervous to get to play there. They the have different speeds at Augusta's fairways compared to, you know, anywhere in Europe links style uh st andrews anywhere like that and then the there's crowds the crowds it really does. It flows so i don't know much there is so there's many there's like 200 different shot types credit credit in this game not that much i think hey, they said somewhere around 50 different shot types so we're gonna learn them all as we play this is my first time getting my hands on this game so you were seeing my first ever shot live on this video um that's kind of cool when you address the ball so there's kind of that like your caddy view where you're like planning the shot and then as soon as you address the ball crowd goes quiet here we go. This is my first ever shot. One thing I've heard is the shot, uh, the new swing plane there is very slow compared to other games. So we're going to have to get used to that. But here we go. I'm just going to let it rip. Scotty, help me out. Get it in the fairway. Here we go. First ever shot, PGA Tour. Okay. So first impression is it is slow. It's probably not as slow as I anticipated. It is slow though. A oh, no little bit of an overswing, a little slow tempo. We'll dial that in. We just sailed our first shot nearly 320 yards. We'll take that as a win. I think when you customize your own character, you can choose if you want a faster swing. So that might help with some of you guys out there. It is different. It is slow. But I'm just going to, if you see in the bottom right corner, there is so many different types of shots you can do now. Finesse is the shot that I've heard is really good. But I heard you got to go long with it. 
So if we got a P wedge here, I don't want to go too long. It is 14 feet uphill here. I think a finesse. We got a good lie. Wind is just trickling behind us, so it will sail this ball a little bit. Tempo's everything right now. Let's see if we can get a good shot into the green at, the, at one. A little fast, a little fast. That's going to push it a little right. But that is right at the flag. If that stops. So again, I, I, I got a hint at the fact that I did not go through all the crazy customization of settings that I talked about at the top of this video. You guys can fine tune so much. So for people concerned, if it's difficult, the new swing plane, I would suggest playing around, get the feel for it, and then adjust your settings. Trust me, you can see there's a putt preview. I'm turning all of that off in our career. I just wanted to dive in in Augusta, just get a video out there, show you guys what it's like. This is on easy, so we might have a couple holes where we go low here, but oh, a little pulled it on the, but we start off Augusta National with a birdie. Hey, it's for fun. It's arcade. It's game one. This is in our career. We'll, we'll tune the, we'll tune the settings when we get there, but we're going to do all hole flybys. Kind of see how they translated the real holes into the game. Once we go through our career, we'll probably speed this up once we've seen the different courses. But man, it looks like Augusta. And I know that sounds silly. They they modeled it after Augusta. But you can see the rolling hills that are so... When you watch the Masters this weekend, compared to this video, and just like the flowers, the trees, the atmosphere, everything is so good. The bunker height. I sound silly right now, I know, but... You gotta understand, I've been waiting for a game like this. I was never a massive fan of the of the 2K games. I enjoyed them. They were more simulation. And you can make this game simulation if you want, but I've been a big fanboy of the EA Sports games for a long time. To finally have one and be modern looking, and they push that to the max. Like even there where the ball hit, a little tough to grass. That's a big drive. Obviously win with us, uphill. Sorry, downhill shot, we were uphill. 374 monster drive by Scotty here at two. That sets us up for a very good approach in. If we get this on the green, we got an eagle putt at two here. So we're going to try a normal approach shot. We're going to have to club down here, though. Probably just one. It is 30 feet. I might bail a little bit to the left here just to hopefully avoid that bunker. Let's see if we can get at this somewhat close for an eagle putt. A little light. Under swing. That needs to go. We did bail out left, a little fast, so we are tugging it. That will find the green. That is a safe shot. Might be an okay putt. Well, that one had to feel good. Might be an okay Struck putt here. So well, you could see that by the reaction of that ball when it here we go the green. for eagle. So this looks solid. like a difficult putt again. We got putt preview on. I don't like putt preview. I wish that wasn't even a default setting, but that's okay. We got a big sweeper left to right, a couple feet. Let's just get this close. Putting is a little bit challenging, so again, I always recommend playing around. Just oh, burn the left edge. Good putt. Tap in birdie. Can't complain about those. I'd recommend playing way. around. Check out the new systems because I, we haven't had a game like this since 2013. It is very different than 2K. If you are a golf gamer, it is different. I'm not saying, like, I'm going to have to dial down. I'm playing a Scotty, so screw it. We're going to shoot a low score. But I'm going to tone down some of the, the settings, turn, tone down the putt previews, things like that. I recommend you do the same, but I would recommend playing around first and just getting a feel for what it's like. Man, early impressions. We are, what, 10 minutes into this video, three holes in. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. There's a couple things that we'll discuss maybe in a follow-up video. Um, some things that I've also seen online uh, that people have been, you know, I don't want to say complaining about, but maybe being a little bit more critical. We're going to strike a fade in here, try and get a little extra distance, see if we can't end up on that top plateau. There's a collection area on the front end of the green, front left end of the green. See with a good drive. That's fast and overswing, but not by this much. Working up the right side. Yes. We avoid that collection area. We should be able to come across the green here. If we funnel down, then we, we kind of are short-sighted, and then we got to kind of do a flop shot, which the flop shots look incredible. I can't wait to try that out. But here we go. Pitch shot. We got a little bit of wind. Won't affect a pitch shot too much. We might dial this down just a bit. Tempo's everything. Look at the green. We, gotta, we might even throw it back here and have it funneled towards. Even the shafts. I don't know if you can tell. That looks like a, a, a gold dynamic shaft. And that's what he plays. It's incredible. 
Okay, we got nailed perfect time it, tempo. A little long. That's what I was afraid of. Okay, that's a, that's a judgment error on my part. I knew it was going to be fast. Didn't check but a little bank. bit too much power. I should have eased way off. That's a pitch shot. I don't know what I was really, thinking I mean, there, but that's okay. Just forward. Chip shots are a little fast and funky as well, so we don't want full power. That was a horrible, horrible underswing. Still got it there. Well, those are the shots that turn with... But like I said, there's going to be so many shots and different clubs and things to to figure out. And it's all going to change when we play in, in career mode as well. So right now we're just having fun. We're, we're seeing what we can do out on the course here. And we drain the par putt, stay two under. Good par putt. Mistake on the second there. I wanted to be in that position on that plateau. I probably should have just done a bump and run. I don't know why I did a pitch shot, but we had lots of green to work with. Here we go, par three. Par, par three. One of the harder ones. Flowering crab apple. Long, long and downhill. It plays like it's 240. It probably plays like 200. It's, it's long, but it's hard. Yeah, we got 31 feet down, so we definitely are going to have to club down. I kind of... I feel like clubbing down to a 5 is probably too little. I might club to a 4 and just take a pace off. We might go a little bit here. The wind is helping us, so it will push us to the right over that big part of the bunker. Just get a good swing. It was straight. A little hard. That's got to sit. You know what? I'm happy. I don't know if being there is easier than bunker. Bunker would be tough because there's not a lot of green to work with. Yeah, this is going to be... Texas wedge, chip, flop, high flop, long flop, a runner, a pitch. Let's try a runner. We're going to we're gonna bump it like right here. I just want to see if this if this ends up bad, it's my fault, but I'm gonna take a little bit off this as well. Sit right there, sit right there, sit right there, sit right there. Okay, that was a mistake on my part. I want to see what it was like. Wrong shot call, obviously. You probably almost never do that. But now we get to try a blast shot. So again, might make a mess of this hole, but we're gonna try some things. Let's see if we can't blast this out and get it right beside the flag. It's a good one. Okay. About as good as you can do from there. Okay, not too bad there. Not in gimme range, but a good chance. Alright, we gotta get a good putt here. Let's away, let's not make too down, much of a mince of this. Well, plus one, bogey. Go to one under. It's a good putt. Finds the center. Okay, one putt is Alright, that was an experimental hole. Let's just because we're on easy mode doesn't mean we need to throw away throw away shots here. But I like that. I like that, you know, if you, you think you can have a runner, there probably wasn't enough green for the runner being downhill. You probably wanted to do a pitch shot, stop it short, and have it just trickle on down. We tried it. We got punished. We got to check out a bunker shot. So beautiful hole here. Hole number five. No small feet. I love everything about this. The overlays, the the graphics, the and I don't mean the the visual graphics. I mean the graphics of the masters and the little the the score up at the top. Like it just it feels so real. <laughs> I, I sound silly. I'm probably sounding like a bit of a doofus here, but I'm excited. So should you if you're a golf fan. That's a good shot. A little fast actually. That's gonna trickle right. That might run out of fairway. No, we're good. We're good. We got lots. I kind of, I flicked up a little too fast. I felt it too. I will say the sound feedback is really good too. When you get that crunch sound, you know you've hit it in this like really good. It sounded a little flat there. We're going to try another finesse shot here. I like that shot. We got a little downhill with a little bit of wind. We could probably aim this right at the flag. It's going to be trickling a little bit down, though. It's funneling towards, so maybe just somewhere right around here and just hit a good shot. Tempo. We haven't really hit too many perfect tempos. Let's see if we can... Fast again. Okay. So that's something... Oh, we were on a downhill slope, too. I should have aimed even more right. But landed a pin high, rolled out a little bit. So these gra greens seem a little bit faster than I would expect. It is tournament conditions. Another thing about the settings, there's so much customization. You can just play at members stuff, so where it's not as tough. It's kind of cool. There's a lot of things you can do. If you're a fan of customization and settings, this is the game for you, and I promise you that. There's so many options. That looks like a good putt. That looks like a good putt. 
no, kind of burn the edge. Two feet, eight inches, hole. left us an uphill putt. Should be an easy tap in for a par. Remain at one under here through. Is that a six hole, fifth hole? So tidy that up for his par fifth hole. He'll remain uh, another testy par three running. coming up here. So far, scores intact, playing well, ED making some good, good choices. I love this, the shot, the shots you can do, the different shot shapes, different shot types. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. All right, here we go. Another severely downhill. So we're gonna club down. We're gonna stay with a normal shot. We're just gonna take dead aim right at it. Wind is helping us a little bit. It's a little swirly up here. We're getting to that part of the course. Once we get to Amen, I can't wait to see. You can see the like the tracer wobbling. Again, you can turn all this off. If you don't want to see the swing plane, we might turn that off as well. If you don't want to see any of that, sky is the absolute limit. I am fast right now. That is going to bleed to the right, and it needs to sit hard. And it sat beautifully. Pin high, just off to the right. A little fast, which is going to, it's going to push everything a little bit. All right, a little chip here. Chips are fast. That's what I've learned. So we'll take a little bit off this. I don't understand the chipping thing at all. It's weird. Well, that was it's almost like it's a very a short window, there. but you still pull back very back. slow, yeah, which kind of seems weird to me. One or the other, right? Land it short, let it run out. Or There's no way it breaks that much. And expect it to stop. I'm going against this putt preview, which might not be smart, but at a little bit of pace. I should have listened to it. That did not, not seem like it was on the outside of the hole, though. Oh, that's an error in judgment on my part, and that's going to be a four on the scorecard because of me. That's okay. We live and we learn. Okay, no problem there you go. That. You either trust it or you don't trust it. Sometimes you can trust it, sometimes you can't. I couldn't trust that. That looked like it was too far off the cup, and I was wrong. Here we go, Pompous. Beautiful, beautiful par four. One of my favorites, the bunkers lining. I mean, I'd be scared so much playing this, but I love watching the pros play it. Five beautiful bunkers. It's going to require a good second shot. We've, we've had some good drives. Let's see if we can work on the tempo here. There we go. Perfect tempo. We just let it kind of flow to the top and then released. Cleared the hips, released the hands. Beautiful. Yeah, that's a nice swing in the result. That's got to be 320 plus. 327. Uh, Absolutely per perfect. Right in the smack middle. Second shot coming up. Let's check in for the first now, time. Now this no is going to be coming a testy shot. 16 pin just on the front edge. Okay, we're going to try and throw it right at this backstop. This might be too far. We are doing a finesse shot, which will have some spin on it. We're going to throw it to the right side of the pin because there's a tiny bit of wind pushing it. Tiny bit, two mile per hour. Still fast. Oh, this could be good. Oh my gosh. Go in, go in. All right, we'll get one of these bogeys back. I like that finesse shot. Basically, it's like it's similar to approach, but it kind of, it kind of, I don't even know how to explain it. It's just a very accurate, very accurate, soft landing with some spin approach shot. That's that's my explanation of it. Yes, nicely done. All right, good recovery, good recovery. Back to back to red numbers, and we got a par five. Perfect timing. We move now to the eighth here at Augusta. Eighth is a is a relatively long but par easy par five. Bunker off the tee and reaching into is definitely a possibility. That's it. There's one one obstacle in your way on the fairway, and then it's. I mean, it it if I remember the screen, yeah, it kind of like funnels away. It's almost like a dog like left green with a big hill. So second shot won't be easy by any means, but if we get a good drive here, we're gonna add a we're gonna add a. Power, power shot with a tiny little bit of a fade. We're going to aim right at this left side of the bunker. Hopefully we carry it, give ourselves a little bit of distance with that fade, and just power it over. Set ourselves up for a beautiful shot into this R5. Perfect tempo again. Hit it a little hard, but that should be more than enough to carry that bunker. It is carried at 314, landed it's soft. 330 rollout. Way. Still rolled out. 15 off. yards, 16 yards. There's the detail with all the sponsorships. You see the Nike apparel. Hey, we completed a couple chapters. <laughs> Don't really know what that's all about, but... Okay, this is a tough shot. 55 feet uphill. Pull a three iron. 
We're gonna we're gonna draw this in quite drastic draw. This might not get there, but hopefully it rolls on. But yeah, you can see the Nike apparel. You can see the tailor-made clubs. You saw that beautiful Stealth 2 driver in his hands. This is going to be a testy shot here. I would club up again, but I feel like with the angle I'm coming in, I feel like a wood would kind of be too much top spin. So hopefully we can just get this somewhere on the green. Bounce. Bounce hard. Oh, that is a... Bad leave. Okay, that's gonna be a little tricky over there. It's <laughs> yeah. Over in the mounds. Left yeah, you said it. Green. Okay, we are gonna switch to our first flop shot. We are gonna land it soft just before and hope that it doesn't do anything more than that. Hopefully, I can judge this perfectly, get a good release, and I pushed it to the right with the thumbstick. That is something I have very rarely done, and I just slipped. But we're on. Wrong with the birdie putt. I mean, honestly, I probably won't do Look that here, second shot the way bird. I did it ever again. That's tough. And see, this is where it's weird. Down an incline, but it's it looks like straight. the green's funneling right, but then this is telling me to go this way. And I didn't trust it last time. We'll trust it this time and see if it's just weird green. I'm going to point out one negative complaint that I have. Back to 200, baby. That's a good front nine going. One negative thing, I don't know if you guys saw it. Once we hit the putt, I expect the grid lines to go away. They stayed through the camera, through the broadcast camera. I don't know if that's a bug, if that's intended, if that's something you can turn off. It seems a little weird that you would have the grid lines remain on the putting surface once you've hit the putt. You would think they would want it to be more realistic visually, but anyway, we got a big, uh, if we can just get it down into that collection area, we should have a pretty sh straightforward pitch shot back up, get ourselves on the putting surface. I am fast. I am fast. It's going to be interesting once I create my own golfer and learn where the top of my swing is, because right now with Scotty, he's got such a slow take back. And I mean, they obviously weren't able to capture his crazy footwork. Scotty has one of the most unique swings. It would have been cool to see that. I got to think that'd be one of the most impossible things to freaking code and have it like look appealing. All right, we're going to push up. Can we club up to a 50? Can we get there with a 56? I kind of want to take even more club and just that seems that seems like a gamble. We just got to hit this flush. We can hit this flush. We can get it there. Otherwise, it's. He hits it flush with very, very little underswing. Go, go. He could have taken another club. Oh, dear. Is that going to get he, up? He could have taken no, another club. Okay. Not. Good to know. Um, now we're off the green. That's, That's Augusta, cool. baby. That's Augusta. We barely line. got it halfway there. Oh, man. It looked good initially. but rolled Yeah, it did look good, but I caught the wrong side of the hill. So now we got to we'll go for a... Uh, Hmm. Go for a flop. It's going to have to be a long flop. Try this out. I'm, I'm good with the 60. I'm going to try and throw a little back because I don't want that same thing to happen there. Let's just see what happens. That looks good. That can sit right there. Okay. I love the flop shots. They did a really good job with the flop shots. Now, not every situation is going to call for a flop shot, but I mean, we had so much, so much room to work with there. That was a perfect opportunity. And he drains the putt. <clears throat> Beautiful recovery. All right, through nine, we're two under. We'll take that. Like I said, we're playing on the easiest difficulty. We could probably have not thrown away a couple of those shots for testing purposes, but I think I would encourage people to play play around first and then change your settings. Where I know I'm going to change some settings to make it a bit more difficult, but I would encourage you to not just jump the gun. It's up to you, but that's that's my assessment through nine holes. Fun nine holes, beautiful nine holes. Augusta's my favorite. Is it my favorite? It's got, I mean, it's it's one of my favorites. One of a lot of people's favorites. Add a little bit of draw to this. See if we can't sling it around this tree. Get it to roll down towards the flag. This is a beautiful hole. Legendary 10th. Crushed it. 
fast, but it should be good. Oh, no, that needs to sit. Is that going to run out? It was high enough that it lands soft. So many players, they hit it down the right side. The problem there is you're coming in from the wrong side of the fairway. You got ah, to that shot very close to the edge of the bunker that protects the right side of the green. Well, good thing it's a different pin placement than what you're describing there, sir. Okay, I'm going to finesse this one in. It is downhill, so I don't need to push it past. Little bit of swirling wind. You can start seeing as we get closer. Amen. Oh, once it gets above those trees. Here we go. Good shot here from Scotty. Let's dial it in. Still fast. We'll figure that out. Does that need to sit? A little bit. Still a good shot. A little long. That's what I was afraid of. It was uphill That's downhill is, is very and important in this game to, to, to get a hang on. All right, here we go. In the shadows, well, it's going to be tough to judge this one. Putts like this, even when he's not close to the hole, he's left himself. I think I'm going to leave. I'm going to think I'm going to die a little bit more than what this thing says. Under it, died in. Wow, that snapped way more. No, didn't get that out there far enough. That was just a bad putt preview. That's supposed to help right. you, and that that I went outside the putt preview. That's okay. Tap in par. Can never be upset with that. I always say anything to tap in. It's a good day on the course. And we have now approached. Move along to hole number 11 here at Augusta National. Now, Amen Corner. White Dogwood. Number 11. This tee box shifted a bit to the left in 2022, which lengthened the hole. Big changes. Good 15 yards. So it is a now, long, long a downhill down right R4. Side, so it plays a lot shorter, but it's play. difficult. I love this. Obviously, Amen Corner is legendary. But we're going to get that swirling wind. We're going to just try and bomb it down there. Not too worried about anything other than just getting the good contact straight down the middle. A little fast, but not bad. Control that one a little bit more. It's going to skirt past these trees on the right. Be right in the middle of the fairway. I'm right open, and this is not an easy shot. This is not an easy shot by any means. I gotta say, the animations look good. That looks like Scotty. I mean, I think with any sports game, you're not gonna get everything perfect, especially with all the animations and everything they do. We are pretty severely downhill. Don't think I wanna go as far as a eight iron, but I don't wanna crush this. So we got some swirling wind as we get close to that par three. A little fast again. I gotta get I gotta get a hang on this fast. That looks like it's gonna be a beautiful shot. Released a couple feet. Can't get much better than that. We got a we got a birdie pot on this tough eleven. Now, pretty good chance for birdie. And the good thing about eleven is where this pin is, it's pretty straight. Starting off on man corner on the right foot. Let's go, baby. Push that score to three under for the round. Welcome I gotta to say, we're playing a video game and the nerves are still up there. Maybe. I don't know if it's the excitement of a brand new game. I don't know if it's the unfamiliarity with with the new game, or if it's just beautiful, beautiful Amen Corner here at Augusta National. Feels good. Feels fun. I'm excited. I'm very excited to get our career started. Absolutely critical. And then we got six feet down. We got swirling winds. I think we're just going to stay with a normal straight shot. I'm going to bail out a little to the left. Hopefully that swirling wind doesn't complete. It's not bad. You can see that shot shape just going a little crazy up there. We've got a bird flying across the screen right now. The attention to detail. A little fast. That's going to push it to the right quite a bit. If the swirling wind leaves it, it could be okay because we bailed to the left. A little short. In this case, we're over the water. A little short might be better than a little long in the bunker, so. Ah, there we go. That walk. That legendary walk where so many people have walked over, including Scotty, who won last year. He'll be making that walk, hoping to pull off a second green jacket, but he's got a lot of people to contend with. There's a lot of players playing really well right now. Beautiful putt. 
And we wow, now have two birdies, well eleven and twelve of our men corner again. Easy day. difficulty. Don't yell at me in the comments. The box, one of the I know. For all the I didn't want to fart futz around with the. Back I love Azalea as well. What a beautiful hole. Then maybe gather some Huge sweeping dog bite. Yeah, I didn't want to dive too much into the settings. The jets, maybe make it's eagle here. pretty late where I am. I wanted to get this uh, out and push so we could have it in the morning. Oh my gosh, the flowers. God, they crushed the design of this game, man. Which was, it was funny, because when they first announced it, the biggest complaint was it looked bad. Because it was running at 30 frames, which consoles are stuck at right now. They're going to introduce 60 post-launch. And people said it looked bad. And I was one of those people that said on 30 frames, it didn't look great. They were releasing things at 1080p at 30 frames. You know how hard it is to get a game looking great that runs at this intensive graphics <gasps> sit sit soft we're gonna be in the rough but that's better than pine straw at least we have a straight and shot it's gonna stay on the high side it's into the second cut right of this 13 fairway this might be tough this might be tough we got a good lie hack oh god all right we're gonna we're gonna trust the hack shot we're gonna trust whatever it sets up. This is what it's recommending. It's saying a hack shot with a six iron. We got we got score to work with. We hacked it. You saw the divot. Oh, that's cool. It really hacked it out of there. Sent it way up in the air. And now we're on the putting surface for an eagle. Oh, what a shot, Frank. I mean, this is one you think about. Even on even on the round. lower settings, Second, I'm having a lot of fun. At Augusta National, <coughs> that's how you draw right. it up. I'm going to put it somewhere around here. I don't even care. And, and hit it on that I don't even care about the putt preview, to be honest with you. Shot. That will be off in our next video. Very next video, anyway. Does he do it, though? He doesn't. He leaves it on the low oh, amateur side. Just a little offline, but not but too bad. We got three feet for a birdie. Go to four under on the round. Four Five under on the round. That's, left that's right. Birdie. We birdied the par three. Birdie all three of. Okay. I mean, I don't care what difficulty you're on. That's impressive. A birdie at par five. Three straight birdies. Birdie all of Amen Corner. Now we're on beautiful Chinese for is, number is 14. Green. Two-time Masters champion Ben Crenshaw considered this to be one of the most difficult in golf. I mean, I got to agree that this is a difficult hole because when you look at it, once you hit that dog leg, everything is sloping away, including the green. There is that small, small part for error. Everything is sloping down. Everything. We're going to aim on the left side, hopefully get good contact, and then it can funnel down somewhere the middle that was slow so i tried overcompensating it toward the left side there you go a little kick Everything to the right flowing really well right now coming off three birdies in a row here's another solid there you go shot as well scotty's happy fans are happy From i'm happy fairway. let's go to noda the most attractive feature of this hole is the dynamic design of the green cut into We're just going to let this one ease on towards the hole with a finesse shot. False front where the ball will come all the way off the front. Perfect. A little bit of an underswing which this might help us in this situation. Point. That's going to land soft and it's going to be just about pin high. 8 feet That's 4 it. inches for a Eight four straight feet. birdie from Scotty. Bad, but it is a great approach. Shot. Chance now. I'm just going to step bird. up to this one. I'm just going to hit it. No putt preview needed. Sink it. Hmm. He'll say he should have made that. It's okay. Stepping up and hitting this one. I got overzealous there. I thought I was going to break more. My putts have been breaking on the low side. I didn't want to miss it on the low side. That's all right. That's all right. <laughs> all right, here we go. Fire Thorn. Big par five. 550. But it's downhill, so it's, it's pretty short. Easily get there in two. Added an extra 20 yards to the hole. Well placed tee shots to the right side. That of the is fairway such field. as an amateur. Advantage, that is such a jarring running into the looking, or I guess, second, third shot, line, wherever you might be. Has also been increased. For myself, that would probably be a layup 100%. Unless I got a monster drive, which I drive my ball max about 275 in the air. Max. So, oh, he flares it to the right with a slip of the thumb. 
Does he get a good break? He gets through. And that will do just fine. Oh, it bleeds back onto the fairway. We can have a shot at this pin. I wonder how rough affects it, because right now it doesn't feel like rough affects this it's his second too much. Okay, we're not gonna do a finesse shot. We're gonna club down. We're gonna club down to a six, take a little bit more off, and we're just gonna try and Ooh, is there a limb in the way there? I might need to I need to bend this in there. Yeah, there's a limb there. It's had a bit of a bit of a fade. Not much. Let's see if we can get a good shot here. Came off a little hot. Needs to sit big time. And just runs through. A little bit too much. Judged it pretty well. I mean, a couple feet long is, is better than, than a lot. Look at that. Uh, the very beautiful little walk there. Fans look engaged. They did a pretty good job with the fans. I mean, a lot of time it's just copy and paste multiple times. Notice, Quite a bit of diversity third. in there, so. Lots of options from behind the green. Better choose correctly because this ball will race away from you. I think I'm going to try the Texas wedge. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it a go. Why not? Perfect pace. Is it going to pick up speed to get there? All right, left it a bit short. Not bad. It's a downhill. Yeah, I didn't no, want to kill it. Just a bit short, but it's I'll another birdie. What, off the green, Hopefully. Hopefully I tap this in well for another judged. birdie. There we go. Another birdie. Okay, good work from off the green. Having a great good round good at it. Six here. under here at Augusta at National. Par three, 16, We're at the 16th. One National of my favorite, so if not everybody's favorite. Red bud. We all know how this hole goes. You aim it to the right. You let it funnel to the left. Want a club distance is everything here. I don't know what it's going to recommend. It is pretty, pretty flat. This seems, does this seem too much club? I think that's too much club. I want to get it right on the hill, one hop it and roll it. That's the plan. Little wind, so I'll aim a bit more back left. It is swirling still. Fun. Nice, easy shot. Added a little bit of distance. Might be too much. It might not. It might go over the hill. It goes over the hill. That's not going to funnel. That we one, landed on the plateau. On the and that is where tempo and everything matters in this game. I and now we have nearly putt. impossible putt. And this is going to be moving left the whole way. It's going to be This one is nearly an impossible putt. I'm going to try and find funnel this in using the guideline. This is nearly an impossible putt. Yeah, I mean, look at that snap. <laughs> we do leave ourselves on the low side, so we have a six a feet uphill. Really let the slope do its thing, and that one comes up short. Uphill putt. Pretty straight, it says. I would... Yeah, the grid lines are a little weird. I almost feel like maybe playing without the grid lines might be the play, because it looks like it's pushing it to the right, but it is uphill. We'll trust it. Center of the cup. Seems to Get out of 16 with a par. Misjudged off the tee. I, I put a little bit too much power. Next up, the Probably should have just taken a more direct route or added some spin into it. Yards. But again, we're trying all the different shots. We're trying was different things. Andina, 17th, beautiful hole as well. I mean, there is, is there really a bad hole in Augusta? Which seems to slope off in just I'm very excited. Direction. Let me know down in the comments who you have winning the Masters this week. There's a lot of good contenders. I mean, Cam Smith uh, coming back. Big news. You got Scotty. There's a lot of people from Live that think that their Live guys are going to do well. And I mean, hey, you got guys like Brooks, who is a former pretty good major player. I don't know how much Augusta he likes Augusta. Honestly, it's been so long since I've cared well, about you can't walk Brooks out that I don't really know. Than that. That is a but I think you got guys in the right PGA there. that are playing way too good. I mean, sleeper pick, Jason Day. He's playing well, man. He's got, he's fairway, got his game back. He seems pretty confident seven. lately. Yeah, I'm not saying he will. I'm just saying he could be a guy to look, kind of look out for. Rory's got that p new putter, new old putter. Put the put the old Scotty back in the bag. Seems to be playing really well with that. I mean, you got this Tiger. Can good. you ever really count Tiger out? I mean, oh my goodness, what a beautiful shot. I mean, yes, Tiger's gone no, through a whole bunch, but, right, but loves like Augusta. Now, Anything's possible. Yeah, you got so many young guys too. Right? Now, this could go on and on, right. but let's focus on our game here. This is to get to seven under, I believe, with one hole remain. 
Puts it in the center of the yeah. cup. We're having a beautiful champion-like back nine. Maybe Scotty can pull this out on Sunday if he makes himself there. We got Holly. R4, 465, 18th here at Augusta. I've had a lot of fun, guys. I hope you guys did too. Again, let me know what you guys think if down in the comments. If, if you guys have bought it, if you got it early, if you're anticipating it and have questions, let me know. Um, there's going to be a lot more videos coming out, so you get to see a little bit more of the settings, a little bit more of the career mode, um, the new attribute system. It, there's a lot of really cool things that we're going to do a, uh, a deep dive in. Sets up beautifully for a fade, so we're going to try and rip it down there. But I had a lot of fun. This is my first ever round. I haven't touched it. This is it. Yeah, that one Great first impression. Kind of took a couple yeah, holes to get used to that slow fine. swing speed, but once you did, and everybody's going to be different. So that's now, what's going to be hard. So once second, we create our own 18. golfer, that's... Uh, yeah, I think we're going to stay with a, a normal approach. Kind of feed it back onto that. That might be enough club just in general. There's some helping wind. I am really bad with the fast right now. That needs to sit. Yeah. I mean, I just crushed it. That's going to be a tough shot, too. Yeah, I've thoroughly enjoyed this. I can't wait to start the career. This I'm excited. I, I mean, I, I played the crap out of 2K. Um, it's going to be nice to get some different feels out there for, for different golf games. Compare them way later. It's too early to compare. There's just so many things. It's, Go in the hole. Go in the hole. Oh, it needs to sit now. Oh. Well, Come on. A case where a Come on, Scotty. Let's end with a par. Eagle, Get out of here with a good score. If you can just make it, just make this putt. It's going to go left like, or right. Oh, it's not saying day. a lot. Okay. Well, there is no other T, but I appreciate that commentary. Commentary is good, though. There's not a lot of stupid. And we got to end our run at Augusta with a bogey. Oh, bugger. All right, let's just pop it in there. Get out of here with six under. First round ever, Augusta National. Road to the Masters. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you shot in your first round. I mean, again, I encourage you to try it with just the, the default settings. I'm happy with a 34 and a 32 or six under here at Augusta. I had a lot of fun, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is, this is a long time coming. I really, truly have been waiting for this game for a very long time. I hope you guys enjoyed our first look quick play at Augusta National. Stay tuned for the brand new series, which we're going to do all the way from rookie all the way up until our PGA Tour career. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you guys so much. Enjoy the rest of your evening, guys. And we will catch you back here for the next video in a couple days. Bye, guys. Peace.